Good morning class. I welcome you all to your grammar class. And in today's class, we are going to start with a new lesson that is lesson number 9. And I hope you can see on the board, it is written active and passive voice. This is from your book which I have taken, lesson number 9, active and passive voice. We are going to learn what are these. Before learning about, separately about active voice and passive voice, first of all the thing is, what is voice? What do we understand by voice? Okay, you will see one definition is given on page number 68. The form of the verb that shows whether the subject of the sentence does an action or has the action been done is called voice. In this, what is important? Whether the subject of a sentence does something or has the action been done upon the subject that is known as voice and we are going to learn about both the things separately first of all i'm going to read the definitions for you i have written on the board please pay attention firstly we will go with active voice when we talk about active voice it means a verb okay Verb. Remember, active voice means it is related to verb. A verb is in the active voice when its form shows that the person or thing denoted by the subject does something. This I am going to highlight for you. Who is doing the action here? The subject this two I will be including with it. The subject does something. Okay, keep this in mind. In the active voice, the subject does something or is the doer of the action. Actions, we all know they are verbs. Okay, verbs are action words when we use them. Here it says, if your action is done by the subject, if you are doer of the action, if you are the one who is acting, who is doing it, if that is subject, the subject does something. If in a sentence, if when you will find the subject and the subject is only doing the action in the sentence, then what you have to make out that it is your active voice. Let's clarify this by the sentence. Kiran read the book. What we will see here, Kiran, we all have learnt about subject, verb, how to find them. I have already explained you so many times all these things about objects. Even I have taken one video of it. So you all know, Kiran is your subject. And red is your verb. This is your verb. And what about the book? Kiran is reading what? The book means it is giving you the answer of what? Means it is your object. While finding out active voice and passive voice, while solving them out, when we are uh, converting them to active voice or convert, converting active to passive, you have to be sure with these three things. Subject, verb, object. If you are unable to find these three things in the sentence, then it will be a very difficult thing for you to do all these things with me. So, once again, we will see Kiran is the doer of the action. And what is the action here? Action is reading. And what Kiran is reading? What is the object here? The book. You will see this example is given in the book only. I have taken from your book. In the first sentence, it is given. Study the following sentences carefully. There, this example is given. It says, Kiran read the book. Now, doer of the action or the one who is performing the action in the sentence is Kiran. Am I right? Then, when we have understood the thing, the name, which is in the position of the subject, is doing the action. It is the only one who is doing the action. Means the subject does action. 
This is clear by the statement. Here our subject is the only one who is doing the action. And what is the action? Reading the book. So we have understood by in this. But when I am talking about passive voice, what is that? Children, remember in active voice, what is most important? The doer of the action is important. Means your subject is important in it. When we want to tell about or tell somebody about my subject, then generally I use active voice. When when there is no importance of the subject or the doer of the action, only the action is important. The one who is doing it is not important. Only the action is important. Then we say that we are using passive voice. We can use in passive voice those kind of sentences where only action is important and doer is not important. But in the active voice, are doer of the action or the subject is important. Remember, our subject is important. Now, when we will come to the definition of passive voice, let's see what we will learn. Passive voice. A verb is in passive voice. When it is in passive voice? When it form, its form shows that something is done. It, it is not doing anything, but something is done to the person or thing. It can be person, it can be thing, okay? When it is done to the person or a thing, denoted by the subject. See, what it is telling you, that here the action is not, we will not have in the position of subject, I have taken one example. The book was read by Kiran. Kiran read the book. This is an active voice, the same statement. And I have transformed into passive voice. The book was read by Kiran. Now let's see what we are going to understand in this. The book was read by Kiran. You can see, although this is in the position of subject, isn't it? This is in the position of subject, but what you will see? You will see that here was read. We use third form of the verb. Third form of the verb. This is my short form I'm writing in. Sorry. Verb. Along with the helping verb. By Kiran. Children, when we transform our sentence from active voice to passive voice, these are some changes which we have to make according to the tense of the sentence. Okay, that we will study afterwards clearly. But just I am giving you a general idea of what do we mean by active and passive voice with the help of one example. Now what you will see. Earlier, Kiran was subject, read was verb, the book was object. But here when you will see, then you will find that the, although the action is not done by the book, but still the, word, the, the book, this is in the first position, means in the position of subject. And was read, we have changed because it was read here. So, means it was in past tense. So, past perfect we have made. Was read, uh, uh, sorry, past participle we have made. Because third form is required along with the tense. Since it was past, so I have used was. If it would be present, then I would have used is. The book is gone this side. It means we are only left with the word Kiran. So, I have used the preposition by. Now, remember, whenever we will change from active to passive voice, generally you are going to find this preposition by. This is often used. Not always. Please remember. It is not that we always use it, but it is often used with the passive voice. So, we have added the uh, preposition by and then Kiran, which was our 
subject earlier. Now it is in the position of object. So, I hope you have understood this that whenever we are changing from active to passive voice, we have to do these changes. What changes I have done with you? Once more, I will be revising with you. I have shifted your subject. I have, sorry, you may say I have replaced subject with object and object with my subject. As you can see, the book was in object position. Now it has come in subject position. It was earlier your subject, but here when it, in passive voice, it is your object of the verb. And this is according to the formula, according to the rule I have made the changes. So in this, what have you observed? It is observed that the subject is not doing any action. It is not the doer of the action at all. The book is not doing any action here. But what it is? Rather, it is receiving the action done by Kiran. The action is done by Kiran. The book was read by whom? By Kiran. Means Kiran is doing this action and this action is received by the book. Here you can see that action is received here. You can understand that in this we have the subject who does the action and here the subject will receive the action. Remember once more we will do. Here the subject will do the action. Here the subject will receive the action. And this by word you have to keep in mind generally this is used with the passive voice. So this is what I have explained you about active and passive voice. Now when we are coming to remember in the passive voice we only use third form of the verb and your helping verb will change according to the tense. If it is in present tense we will change according to that is, am, are, whatever we will use. If it is in past tense, then according to that, has, ha, sorry, had, then was, were, all these we can use for helping verb I am saying. But your main verb will never change in any other thing, but it will only change to third form of the verb. Then we are going to talk about the general rules for changing sentences from active voice to passive voice. Although I have already explained you with the, with the help of these two examples, but still once more I will take one example to explain you this. I will be taking one example which is again from your book. I'm giving the head heading to it general rule. General rule. General rules for for changing or just I will give a short form for changing what? Active voice to passive voice. Okay. When we change from active voice into passive voice. I hope this short form is clear with you. A, V means active voice. P, V means passive voice. When my sentence is already in the active voice and I want to change into passive voice, then which rule I will go with? Here I will write one sentence. Anita plays badminton. Okay. Anita plays badminton. This I think you can guess in which voice it is. Let's find out whether you can do it or not. Anita plays badminton. 
means Anita is in the position of your subject. Place is your verb. And then place what? Badminton means it is object. In the rule it says that we can change active voice into passive voice by using certain rules. And those rules you have to carefully read the following six points. There are six points which you have to be thorough with. So here I have told you firstly we should know how to divide subject, verb and object according to rule 1. Then when we have understood how to divide that now what is important? If I want to change this into passive voice this is an active voice. This is an example of active voice. Now what will be, what I will do to make it into passive voice? I have told you that according to it, for example, now your things are like subject, verb, object. All three things you have got. Now turn the object of the sentence into subject. Turn the object of the sentence into subject. It means this word will come in the position of subject according to rule 2. Let's do it. Badminton. We have done, we have fulfilled our second rule. Now it says write the B form. B is what? Is M. I don't know. B form to the tense of the verb. Now B form means your B form means your when you are going to have the helping verses it is place it means it is it, it is in your present tense so we are going to use is with it since it is in present tense so we will use is Anita is if it would be plural here then we would have used are but since it is talking about Anita so I will be using is is then According to the rule 4, it says, write the past participle form of the main verb. What was our main verb here? Plays. So, what will be the past participle? It would be played. P-L-A-Y-E-D. Played. Past participle. This is your helping verb. Now, this earlier it was object, but now it is your subject. Now after this, you have to use the preposition by, which I have told you, which we generally we use. Badminton is played by, now by whom? Change the subject into object. Now what is left? We have used this word, we have used this word, we have added by from our side. We have used auxiliary also, means the helping verb. Only Anita is left. Badminton is played by Anita. This we have changed into passive voice. I hope step by step when I have changed, now these things are clear to you. If it is not clear, what you can do? You can just go through these things. Everything is there in the book and then you will be clear with these things. Once again, we will just revise. Now, this is your subject. Although this is not performing any action. In the active voice, Anita was performing the action. Anita was playing badminton and all. But here, this action is received by, we will see, auxiliary verb or helping verb you can say. Then here it is your main verb. Then by is your preposition which we generally use. Anita is your object now. So you can say in the passive voice the action is received by the subject but in the active voice action is done by the subject. I am sure that you must have understood this further we are going to see in our next video. Till then thank you and take care.